Steve from the garden. I'm going to start doing an experiment with hot composting that doesn't involve having to turn the pile every week or every couple days. Now one component of hot composting is that it helps you uh, break down your composting material much faster than say my regular Johnson Sioux that I'm doing. Johnson Sioux, eh, it takes about a year or so. Hot composting, if you're really on top of it, you can get it in say 30 to 60 days. I'm heading into winter now, so I don't want to be out here every couple days or every week even turning a pile and that seems like a lot of work to me. So how am I going to do this where I can keep the pot compost pile hot, keeping it aerated and maybe only turn it once a month or longer as we head into the really cold weather here outside Chicago because let's face it I'm not going to be out here composting when it's you know zero degrees outside. So let's take a look at what I got set up. This is my current compost pile. It's a mixture of a lot of garden waste with uh, some leaves and horse manure that have kind of layered here on the top. And I just took off the side and uh, they kind of disappeared now, but there's a bunch of worms that were just kind of sitting here right at the edge. So I'm gonna move this material which is currently at, you know, it's 110 degrees right now. So, I mean, that's not bad, but it'd be better if it was in the, the 120, the 160 range. So I'm gonna borrow a concept from my Johnson Sioux I'm doing, where I'm gonna move or flip over this material into this bin, where I have like this open center area that will help Make sure the pile stays aerated and therefore can stay hot. And so if I don't get on here, say every, you know, four weeks or so, the pile is going to, you know, stay aerobic during that time period. Now, since I am flipping this pile over, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to get water through all the materials again. Make sure we have an even amount of moisture going through the pile. Now, one of the things we're trying to accomplish with hot composting is to get a good mixing of all the materials so that everything decomposes at about the same rate or so. Now, as I start pulling material out of this other pile you know, and open all that up, you know, I can see like the steam and the heat coming off of it. So, at center it was definitely pretty warm but not quite the temperature I was hoping uh, to get the whole pile up to. I have the bin flipped over and this new one is all filled up. Filled up pretty nicely. Now the dimensions of this bin is 48 inches long, 36, 36 inches wide, 42 inches tall. And then the center area here is roughly um, six to eight inches it's about six inches because there's 15 inches from the uh, side to the inside here now one of the things i want to mention about hot composting is we raise that temperature up not only to decompose the materials faster but also to kill uh, any seeds that might be in there so that when we spread it out in our garden we don't end up with plants or weeds where we don't expect them to be if you have any thoughts on how this experiment is going to work out, go ahead and leave a comment down below and we'll share our thoughts about what the outcome of this is going to be and whether it's going to stay hot um, and compost properly. I'll do some follow-ups in the uh, upcoming months as we see this material break down. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you got something out of it. Subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next one.